Here's a quick tutorial on how to add a scribble effect to your designs. So you can do this really easily in Illustrator. I'm gonna select this shape. It's just a circle. And I'm gonna make sure that it does not have a stroke around the outside. So we're gonna focus on the fill of an object, whether that's letters that you have, anything that you turn into a shape. Look at the fill, make sure the fill is the way you want it. Once we have that fill the way that we want it, we actually can apply this scribble effect up in the effects dropdown down to stylize this scribble. We open this up and we already get a nice scribble effect. We can see that we have a ton of options to play with out here and we have a preview button down here at the bottom that we can check mark. We can change this setting to some of these presets. So I could change it to from default to like childlike and that changes it a little bit. We also have like dense scribbles, we have loose scribbles, we have moir scribbles, okay, that's interesting. Uh, sharp scribbles, there's a lot of different scribbles that you can change here. Let's stick with, how about childlike for this one? Almost like pasta here. So when we look at this, we can actually adjust the angle of the scribbles themselves. And then we can look at how much these paths overlap or how much we overlap the path of the shape itself. So are we overlapping outside of the shape? Are we overlapping maybe just inside the shape? We don't want to overlap the path at all. This allows you to make that adjustment here. And then we can adjust the variation in our lines or actually the variation in the path overlap by sometimes, you know, it overlaps, sometimes it doesn't. You can also adjust the stroke width. So how wide are the lines that are the, making up the scribbles. And you can also adjust the curviness of it. Is it super duper curvy? Is it not so curvy and just very angular? Uh, and then you can also adjust if there's variation in that. So you can kind of adjust the variation, kind of adjust the spacing and all that here. The presets kind of get you started, but you can make those adjustments and then we can hit OK. And you see now that our circle shape has turned into a scribble. But that doesn't change the fact that we still have a path here, which of course means that we can double click in on this and we can still press A for our direct selection tool and make adjustments to this scribble. So we can still adjust the path, which in turn, as you can see, adjusts the scribble. So if we wanted a moon shape, we could bring that path in and then just kind of rotate this whole thing around and we turn that circle into a little crescent moon pretty pretty quickly there. And so you can make a lot of adjustments to the path still. And this is how you can create some cool little scribble effects here in Illustrator.